Okay, we now have Hoover Elite Rewind with a HEPA lifetime HEPA filter. And here's the Hoover suction indicator again, airflow indicator. And of course, the turbo brush is missing. Um, I don't know what it is with people throwing out vacuums. They seem to feel that they need to keep the turbo brush. As if their next $80 vacuum won't come with one. Or something. And you can see this one still has the little trash pickup tag on it. Cord rewind. I actually like this rewind a lot better than say the ones on the Electrolux or um, on the Kenmore's because this one those are the ratchet style where you gotta tug it and tug it and finally it'll end up going back in but this one actually um, you just step on the little pedal up here and in it goes okay and this one Unfortunately, and this is probably the reason this one was thrown away, it smelled like wet dog whenever it's run. I don't know what they sucked up or what happened, but they it has a brand new HEPA exhaust filter in it. Um, but that's not the problem. I had a dryer sheet stuck in here to make it not smell quite as bad. Here's the issue though. This thing also has a filter inside the tank. These Walmart... Uh, okay, these Walmart bagless vacuums are not cyclonic vacuums. So they have a secondary filter which is usually buried somewhere inside the canister. Which this one is right here. Yeah. And I have no idea what this whole thing was completely plugged there was no no airflow at all through here with my shot vac, so I ended up. It took me about 25 minutes, and three plastic forks and a plastic knife gave up their lives to somewhat clean this filter out, um, because I wasn't going to go out and I wasn't about to go out and buy a new filter. So, it is cleaned out now. I don't know, we can't really see the light through it, but you can see light through it now. And, uh, okay, how did this go in? Um, there's an arrow on here somewhere. Okay, so that's working now. And this is nice. This is similar to the Dyson, similar, but it pops open and you flip it shut like that. 24 foot cord. And this has a nice, extremely stiff brush roll. And it's similar in design to the Dyson brush roll. How oh, it's kind of got a narrow, narrow roll. And it's got somewhat, like if it's set real low, these act kind of like beater bars. But let's flip it back up here. And I've got a nice bit of crap on the floor over here. 
and we'll see how she works. Okay, now this vacuum is not very loud, really, comparative. It's a lot quieter than the Bissell that I have, and it also seems it to be a lot sturdier. So here we go. How do I turn it up? There's a, and this one is nice too. It has a foot switch to turn it on, so you don't have to fumble around with your hands trying to switch it on. Runs nice and smooth there. And you've got to love plastic vacuums, static electricity and all. Yeah, it's not too bad. We can see how much stuff it picked up there. And there is still bits in the carpet, as we can see. Didn't pick everything up. So, there we have it. I wouldn't say it's the best vacuum, but... It's not bad for free.